Okay, it is night time and this is probably going to be the last night video I'll do this year because my last dragon fruit flower just opened tonight. And this is the um, American Beauty right here. So I'm going to, so even though it is, uh, the, the, the pollen is, um, they call it self-fertile, which means you can use its own pollen to um, pollinate it. But the pollen needs to get to the uh, stigma in here because it's kind of far away and I had it uh, experienced before where I went on vacation. It did not pollinate itself. So whatever creatures in the night, they did not help me out. So it's best that I pollinate, I, uh, pollinate it myself. So I'm going to collect the pollen first so, so I can save it for next year. And then um, I have, but then because I've been uh, eating a lot of um, American Beauty this year from different plants, so I know how it tastes. So instead of pollinating it with this own pollen, I'm going to use a different variety. I have a uh, Halley's Comet, and I also have Dark Star. Um, uh, 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 so I am, you know, and I decided to use the Dark Star because it's nighttime and there's stars in the night. So you know, hey, but what better, right? Uh, also, I try um, Haley's common uh, fruit just by itself before, so I know how that tastes. I never tried Dark Star, and it's my first year this year that I get pollen from it. So, anyways, I'm gonna collect the American Beauty pollen first with this uh, handy uh, vacuum. Uh, like this is one of those uh, keyboard vacuums. So very simple little thing, portable, very uh, like 15 bucks on uh, Amazon. So I, I'm collecting all of it first so I can use it for next year and I'm gonna save it so just to show you how much I collected ooh it's a lot I can see that it's all yellow up here that means it's a lot oh it's not oh it's not I guess that's a lot so there you go that's the the yellow part is the pollen but I'm not gonna use it like I said I am gonna use the um, a dark star which I have right here ready to go so this is the bottle that I save it in and there's a pollen inside and so I'm gonna open this up a little bit to get the make sure I can see the hole inside and here you go I'm gonna just get a big uh, brush full of it and then I'm gonna just dust this area so right now I'm pollinating it uh, my American Beauty with Dark Star so let's see if it will pollinate I know um, self-fertile um, varieties I guess they could be cross-pollinated also with other um, varieties so basically you could just uh, cross-pollinate everything you don't have to you know if you're gonna do that you don't have to you don't have to worry if it's uh, self-fertile self-sterile whatever just uh, cross-pollinate them all alright so that's the uh, hold on let me move my arm so I can get some light in here go I have a night lights here that's a sensor so there you go that's it and that's all you need to do so we'll see if it um, pollinates and uh, grow into a fruit it's kind of late right now so this we're in mid October and it's pretty cold out night at night I had to wear long sleeves and I, I think it's like gonna get up to the get down to the 50s tonight so I don't know if this late uh, flower will become a fruit or not or if it's gonna grow super slow when it's cold winter like that since I have a since this is the last one I'm just gonna overdo it with some pollen here you know too much pollen is not gonna hurt anybody right? who's gonna complain about too much pollen right well there you go all right so that's it so I'm pollinating my last uh, American Beauty